occupations in Sparta. There were many occupations in Sparta, including agricultural, commercial and domestic. Farmers, these were helots who worked on farms. So you can see the picture here of the helots doing a lot of hard labour. Remember there were three different groups of people in Sparta. The Spartiates, who were the top class, who would be soldiers. There was the Periokoi, who were the second class, who did a lot of things like um, trading and mining and so on. And then the Helots were the ones who did the hard work. There was also fishermen, herdsmen, bakers, servants and other occupations. Here's a picture of some fishermen working hard and uh, they've got some big fish there. So fish, fishermen, fishing would have been very popular, people liked eating seafood and um, you know Greece is surrounded by coastlines so they would have been, um, they would have liked seafood. They also had craftsmen such as painters, potters, bronze makers, bronze sculptors, textile workers and others. So this gives an idea of who the craftspeople were and these would have been mainly their periokoi. Gidiades. The ancient writer Pausanias described Gidiades, who was almost certainly a Spartan citizen. He was an architect and sculptor. He was famous for constructing the temple of Athena Chalkialko. This suggests that not all Spartans obeyed Lycaegus' law. Most craftsmen's skills were hereditary. That is, a son followed in his father's profession. Government and military. In the government you had the kings, and remember Sparta had two kings. You had the hoplites in the military. You had officials such as the ephors. And here we have a picture of King Leonidas. He was one of the he, he was the king who uh, died in the Battle of Thermopylae. He died fighting against the Persians. So this is one of the greatest battles in the history of Greece. In 480 BC, you had uh, the Persians trying to invade Greece. Uh, they the Spartans held them off for a while at Thermopylae and fought bravely. And one of the oracles had predicted that the Greeks could win, but they would lose a king. A king would die and he died there and they didn't fully win eventually the Spartans got the Persians got through but it was really a situation where somebody betrayed them somebody told the Persians another way they could get through and um, the Persians ended up coming through and they won um, but the, the Spartans did fight heroically and hold them off for a while and here we, we can see one of the Spartan kings King Leonidas we can see his shield we can see the way he was dressed uh, the helmet he was wearing you know, he looks like a magnificent figure. So he, he was one of the Spartan kings and this is what the Spartan kings would have looked like. 